Hello and welcome to this video where you learn how to massively upgrade your project management in Notion. It's often said that Notion isn't so good at project management and that it lacks some crucial features compared to software like Asana or ClickUp, but I really disagree. Notion can actually be super powerful for project management, but only if you use it the right way. And recently, I found an awesome new way to make Notion much, much better at project management. So in this video, I'll teach you how to use this new method called the dynamic project template method to supercharge your project management. I'll also walk you through a free project management template of mine. Uh, you can check out the link in the description to download it for free. And uh, you can use the timestamps in the description to jump to a specific section if you want. Uh, uh, special thanks so if you have the time to watch it all, because that helps me a lot with the algorithm. So now let's find out how to manage your projects in Notion. Okay, so before we dive into how exactly the dynamic project template method works, let's remind ourselves of the big issue with um, the traditional way of how you do try to do project management in Notion. Uh, that is that like, I mean, if you have like a decently organized workspace, uh, then you usually have uh, at least two databases. You have one database for tasks and one database for projects so that you can relate your tasks to your projects uh, and vice versa. And that way you can organize everything neatly. So you have one master task database, one master project database, and then you have obviously all the sorts of different dashboards. And um, then you create a template. Uh, you create a, a project template and say, okay, whenever I write a YouTube video, I or like want to film a YouTube video, I have like five tasks that belong to that. I need to um, brainstorm uh, like an idea. I need to write a script. I need to film the video. I need to edit the video. I need to upload it, right? This type of project always has the same sort of task associated to it. And a project management software should be able to easily handle this uh, issue. But uh, the problem is Notion can't. Uh, while we can build templates uh, fairly easily, um, we can't uh, use them for the structure of having uh, two databases. Or <laughs> so we think with the old method. So what we usually would do is we would create like a template and in that template, we would set up a dashboard, right? But um, connecting these tasks like I did here doesn't do anything because if I now um, duplicate that template or, or use a template for like a, a new project, oops, new project two, um, then we can see that we have now two projects, but we still have the same number of tasks, which is an issue because like these tasks belong to, to project one, right? And once they are ticked off, they are supposed to go out of our system. We actually don't have like a, a done field here, but um, so like the, the theory would be, uh, okay, we say, um, okay, checkbox, are they, um, are they done? Uh, yes, they are done. And now we start next project. But um, even though we set up a template and we said, okay, for this template, we always need to do these type of tasks. We don't get new tasks here. So it doesn't work like that. And one way that we usually didn't try to solve this um, or revert to is to use something called lazy checkboxes, right? Where just in the body of the project, you use these sort of checkboxes to remind yourself of the steps you need to go through. That obviously works. You have like here independent uh, checkboxes. And if I now create like another uh, version of this um, template, uh, then we see that we have new checkboxes again to fill out. So uh, it's kind of the desired effect, but now we uh, don't have tasks that live in a database, right? So all the sort of information that we would add to it, like when is it due, like who do we need to call for it, which tags do we need to assign, all of that is lost. And uh, even worse, we can't use different views on different um, dashboards to look at them. So in short, this method doesn't work very well. So what do we do instead? Well, we use the dynamic Temp project template method. Um, the dynamic project template method uh, isn't a new fancy feature in Notion. It's just uh, a way of making use of one of Notion quirks to actually solve this problems, uh, this problem. And here's exactly how. So the funny thing is with um, database entries that you can move them freely in and out of the database, right? You can like just write here uh, a new task and I can drag that into here and then all of a sudden it's an entry in the database. And I can do the same with moving it out again and now it's uh, like in this case it's on page but it doesn't have any page content but I could like also just as well uh, turn this into text and would be like just the same text as before. So far so good. 
Now, um, one of the, the quirk that we're going to use for this uh, workaround uh, for the dynamic uh, project template method is that if you uh, assign metadata to uh, like a database entry and like all of these rows uh, are metadata, right? Like this is the name of the entry and all of the other thing that's some sort of data that you uh, assign to it. Well, if you move the entry out of it, it looks like it loses all of that, right? But the thing is, if you move it back into the database, the metadata is here again. And even better, if you were to like duplicate this entry that you just moved out of it and move that duplication back into it, it also has the meta metadata. So like, let me just prove it to you. We have like now two uh, tasks with the exact same metadata. So how do we use this? Well, um, when we set up our templates for uh, our projects, we um, don't use lazy checkboxes. We don't uh, do this here. We don't like uh, pre-assign uh, it. Let me just clear this out. Instead, on the page of our project template, we embed um, a view for tasks. We fill in all the tasks that we need to do for the project and add all the metadata like due date, the, due date, the tags, uh, whatever we want. Um, and then we move them out of the table into the body of the template. And that's it. That's the whole trick. So now if we go in here and say, okay, I want a new project template, uh, version two, I just go ahead and take these tasks that have been duplicated in the bottom of the page and move them back into the table, the task table. And now we have a bunch of tasks for this project. It actually has like the, this was actually like uh, wrongly set up. It shouldn't have like the, the P1, but you can just remove that and then you have it uh, connected to like the, the new one. And uh, this works now with like as many instances of the project as you need. So if you see, if I do now um, another version, I can take again these tasks, oops, and an empty one, <laughs> drag them in here. And we have now for the second project and the third project, each the individual set of tasks. And obviously you need to set up like the views a bit uh, better so that like they actually the tasks get assigned to the specific project that you have here at hand. But um, that's, the, that's the method. So uh, this is super exciting uh, and you can do a ton of uh, with it. I uh, just wanted to explain you quickly in advance how uh, this solution works. Uh, and now that you, that you understand how the, the dynamic uh, template method works, let's uh, take a look at one use case for this like a simple project management template that I've built because there's now a lot of powerful stuff that we can do with this. Okay, so let's take a look uh, at this template that I've built uh, as an example. So this is like the, the guide that walks you through how to uh, exactly set it up. And uh, I'll include obviously the uh, link in the video description for you to download this and uh, follow along yourself. Um, but as you can see, we've now here uh, have like a bunch of project tasks set up for this dynamic project template. And uh, one of the super, super cool things that we can do is we can create dynamic due dates. So the way this works is like the, the project that this task will be assigned to uh, will have an end date. Um, uh, and uh, this end date uh, can be then used to calculate, okay, when does a task need to be done? So the way we do it is we have this uh, days to deliverable field and just fill in like, okay, how many days before the end of the project do we need to finish? The, uh, the task. So like the, the last project task would be like the last day or like three days before it and like the, the first tasks on like the very beginning. So depending on how long like a project usually lasts, if you say, okay, I film a YouTube video every week and on day one of the week, I need to do this, then you would fill in like six. So like seven days the project lasts in total, right? So minus six, first day and so on and so on. Uh, and then if we now uh, take this task and just uh, do the same thing as we did before on the, um, the example uh, and the other one, we just like, we'll, we just drag and drop them out and uh, somewhere, it doesn't matter where, we'll uh, <laughs> not do it correctly here, but just to, to show you what you can do. And now we say, okay, uh, create one of these new dynamic projects. Ta -ta -ta -ta. New 
project. Oops, my keyboard doesn't want to do it the way I want to. These are the tasks that we just uh, pulled out, right? And now we're going to take them and we're going to add them to the database. And as you can see, all of a sudden, we have a dynamically calculated due date. So the, the final date of the project uh, we said was like June 16th. So uh, it will automatically calculate, okay, um, how many days in advance do I need to do it? Like you remember third project task, we needed to do three days before the end. So June 13th, June 16th, it ca dynamically calculated that. But not just that, you can obviously build out your template more dynamically and say like, okay, like this is the norm, but uh, sometimes I need like a different due date. So you just like, uh, and so that's why there's also like an override included. So if you say, ah, well, usually it's enough if I do it three days before, but this time actually I need to do it a lot earlier. I need to do it like the week before. You just fill out the override due date and then the display due date automatically updates and like all the other views in the template uh, use uh, the display date. So it will always be up to date. And as you can see in this one, it's also um, like uh, all the views are set up correctly. So uh, now we uh, have them actually assigned to the correct project. That's why this dashboard only shows these tasks. So that's a glimpse into all the cool things that you can do with the dynamic uh, project uh, template method. Uh, now let me just quickly walk you through the whole project management template so you have an idea of how to use this uh, if you want to play around it with yourself. This is um, a fairly simple um, but uh, very, very powerful project management tool, uh, mainly thanks to two uh, particular methods that we use. Uh, one, the dynamic uh, template, uh, dynamic project template method, and the other one, the statistics for notions, as you can see here. So uh, how exactly is the template built? Well, on the first page, the dashboard, you get a status report. You will see how many open projects you have. You will get your average progress on uh, these uh, projects. There's actually a typo um, to fix that. You get like a health report, right? Like if uh, a project is very close to the deadline and not finished yet, it will uh, switch over to yellow. And if you're over the deadline, it will, will switch over to red. Uh, and then you just have some lifetime stats of like, okay, how many projects did you finish since you started using this template? You have an overview over all your projects, the active ones, the ones that you have uh, on hold, and the ones that you label as ideas. Mm. And then uh, you have all your tasks. So while this is not a dedicated task manager, um, it comes with all the basic functions that you need for a task manager. You have your today view, you have your overdue tasks, you have a calendar view to see your, your upcoming tasks. And remember, um, if you use the dynamic uh, project template method, um, this will automatically be populated with uh, tasks whenever you create a new uh, project. And lastly, like you're, you're waiting on tasks and then a bunch of other things. Um, so this is the main dashboard of the, the template. And then you have a few uh, more sections you have for uh, each of the main databases, which are projects, tasks, docs, and meetings, uh, and own overview page. So you can navigate there and on projects, you will see also you have like a, a Kanban uh, board to uh, do some planning and move things around. Um, so you can say, okay, this is a project that we just created, right? Uh, we want to now actually start it. So we uh, pull it into progress. Uh, and now it's also like one of our projects in progress. Or we can say, ah, no, well, uh, let's actually wait with that. Uh, we don't want to do that right now. Um, and so on. Let's move this back and let's move this back. Um, you have a list of your future projects. Uh, and yeah, uh, in the tasks, similar setup, you have an inbox for all your new tasks. So uh, these are tasks that have not been assigned to a project. This from earlier when I was just experimenting with it, uh, the <laughs> everything is set up correctly. They obviously have a project, but uh, so if you just like dump in tasks, for example, through the quick capture feature here on the side, um, new task that I just thought of, then um, they will automatically uh, appear here for you to process assigned metadata. And then once you assign them to a project, uh, they will uh, disappear out of your inbox. So very clean setup, very minimalistic task manager, but can handle everything that you throw at it. Um, and as you can see, you have here similar views. Uh, and in addition, you can also let see all your tasks and your completed tasks. Ah, and by the way, here's also proof that uh, in general, uh, with the correct setup, uh, these tasks go right to the project where you need them and nowhere else. 
Um, that's, that's your task section. In the documents, you can uh, see all the documents that you create, uh, create different templates that come with templates for an SOP and a brainstorm, but obviously you can create many more. Um, same with meetings, uh, you have like your meeting notes and you have like a, a template set up to take smart meeting notes with participants, the agenda, notes and next actions. Um, so that's great. Uh, and then uh, on uh, the new template section, that's like where it will walk you through uh, the whole dynamic uh, uh, project template setup. So you click here on new on the drop down, and then uh, click on the create new project template. You go there uh, and duplicate it, and then you can set up like any recurring project for which you want to use this awesome method. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, last thing to show you would be that like obviously every every individual project has uh, a dashboard as well that you can uh, just load in by then pressing. Like if you already created it, you can load in the one-off uh, project um, template, uh, which will just give you access to some quick notes, uh, important links, uh, your task views, your documents, your meetings. You know everything that you want from uh, a standard project manager. And yeah, if you want to look at how everything is built, go into the back end, but please don't delete anything here unless you know what you do. It might <laughs> break everything. Um, but yeah, that's uh, the template. As I said, I'll leave the link in the description. Uh, it's free. I hope you, you like it. And if you have any comments or feedback on this template, please don't hesitate to let me know. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, it would help me out a ton if you would like this video. Also, if you have any questions, uh, please ask them in the comments. I will reply to every single one. And last but not least, uh, if you want to learn more awesome Notion tricks, get regular free Notion templates, and are looking for different ways to streamline your workflow, then you definitely should follow this channel. See you in the next one.